Hello folks, Major Gosnell here, and today I'm going to be showing you the latest update in Space Engineers. They have actually released the planets at long last. So this was a very eagerly anticipated um, update for the game, and I must say it is looking pretty goddamn gorgeous. So I've just started a uh, offline game here, and as you can see, it, it really does look wonderful. It's quite amazing, and the thing is, the map is pretty much unlimited here. You can actually circumnavigate the globe, I believe. So one sec there. Let's hop in the cockpit. Let's take off, and I'll show you what's around. Now, I will admit, performance-wise, she is suffering a lot. Um, I'm running a Jewel 970 GTX card rig, uh, Core i7, with about 16 gigabytes of RAM. And I'm averaging between 50 and 30 frames per second. And this is with SLI switched on. I'm not really surprised though, to be honest. The world is, well, quite frankly, amazingly detailed there. And really fucking beautiful as well. So we're just going to take a look along here. Now, bear in mind, you can actually mine all of this land as well. So, this is... It's just plain amazing, to be completely honest. Granted, though, you will need a hell of a rig to run her properly. As you can see, my frame rates are dropping pretty sporadically there. I'm wondering if I go higher because of pop-in. Maybe it'll uh, increase the frame rates ever so slightly. Okay, let's go over here. Maybe once the trees are not needing as quite as much detail. Yeah, that should help a little bit. As you can see, it is... It's really, really beautiful. It really is. And you can actually probably head on up here to um, outer space as well. The map sizes itself are just insanely detailed. My god. And there's very little pop in as well. Granted, on lower-end rigs, there is going to be a bit more popping, but fucking hell, this is beautiful. You got over here, you got prairies, and this isn't just like a copy-pasted world. This is a detailed fucking world we've got here. Now, unfortunately, there's no wildlife as of yet. Um, they've released tree biome planets. You have Mars, you have Alien, and you have Ert. Uh, the one I'm currently doing is Ert itself. Now... No Man's Sky is coming up pretty soon, and that's going to have like creatures and stuff in, within the game. I think that would be something that would be interesting if they added Space Engineers, but I think it's something that, you know, we could probably live without as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm just wondering though, if they start releasing like mass capacity servers, what will be achievable on the planets themselves? I don't think it's going to be space engineers anymore. I think it's going to be just engineering, <laughs> doing crazy ass shit. As you can see here, just really, really detailed. I'm just going to land here, and we're going to take a look at the mining options, see how much deformity we can actually put in the land. That's me shooting a machine gun there now. Actually, let's switch to rockets. Ooh, we've actually lost a little bit of control here, just trotting down a little bit. Just seeing if we can deform the terrain much as well. Going to um, hand roll. Second there now. I'm trying to remember my controls for this. Ah, there we go. Grinder, do do do. -de what are we looking for? So weapons and tools, and 
Character tools, there we go. So we got the hand roll. As you can see, you are actually able to mine the ground as well. It's such a leap forward to have the game. So, this is gonna be pretty goddamn epic. Seeing what can be done and what can't be done. Just really, really impressed with this. We are going to go back to our ship though. Yeah, shit. Let's go to... Sorry for motion sickness if anybody's suffering it. Yeah, the D. There we go. Now let's see if we can go off planet here. I'm not sure I how exactly it'll fare going out of atmosphere. I know they've added uh, planetary thrusters, so I'm not quite sure if this will actually work even. But we'll give it a wee shot. And if it's a seamless transition into space. Also going to watch to see what the um, high differential is here for actually exiting the atmosphere. Now notice my frame rate is holding steady, so it is to do with the pop-in on the terrain is causing um, the issues here. Oh, we're dropping back down. Shit. Let's see if we can actually fly straight up. Do to do. I'm on creative mode, so hopefully I'll be able to. Ah, this is getting darker. I think we're actually going to go into space here. Will this actually work, I wonder? Yep, we are actually going into space here. So there is seamless transition from planet to space. Which is pretty goddamn impressive. I'm still in the atmosphere slightly, though. A bit like Icarus here, flying towards the sun. Okay. Well, hot damn. It actually worked.
This is when they get free of the gravity, as you can see over here, it's showing it. Okay, let's take a look down. Oh, holy shit. Now, ain't that just the prettiest thing you've ever did see? Granted, the atmosphere does look a little... fakeish, but <laughs> still, it's, um... That's pretty goddamn impressive, I must say. Whole goddamn planet, huh? Whole goddamn planet. Well, I'm going to call a halt to the video here. Um, I recommend everybody who has Space Engineers or hasn't picked it up yet to pick it up. Quite simply put, it is impressive. Very, very impressive. The game has come so far over the last two years. Highly recommend it.